we will be sharing with you how we overcame Chase's fear of the harness which as you can see he's co completely over now and um, you will see shortly at the beginning of the sessions Chase used to run away as soon as I had hold of the harness and um, he'd run away and hide he was that frightened and um, he was always okay once it's on it was just the fear of actually putting it over his head which um, gave him a lot of anxiety so we've been working on that over the last few weeks I have sped up a lot of the content just so you can see how it was um, repeated and progressed over time and um, but first I'm going to break down the step by steps that we've been through okay so the very first stage of overcoming Chase's fear of the harness was just getting him familiar with it being around and rewarding any time he was he was near um, so we'd feed next to it to begin with, also on top of the harness, just getting him used to it wasn't going to hurt him and um, I wasn't going to try and put it over his head straight away and just building his confidence there. So that is the start of most of the beginning sessions um, and from there we went to trying to feed treats through. So I'd put my hand through the opening of the harness that would go over his head and he would take the food from my um, hand. To begin with, as far out sometimes as I needed to go, um, like so, and then I would start to slowly move my hand closer, so his head was almost near the opening there. Um, so that is, as you will see, some of the first few steps. Now, after the end of each session, on the next day, or the, a few hours later when we'd start again, sometimes he would regress um, and go back a stage, which is completely normal. So we would just start back at whatever stage he felt comfortable with from there and build it up in each session. Once he got really comfortable uh, with taking the food from my hand through the harness, then I would start to slowly move it over his head. You'll see sometimes that did um, you know, take him by surprise a little bit and he would move backwards. And then eventually he would start to learn that that was okay and gain confidence with it. Um, a final tip that I found that you will see towards the end of the video, something that I've now started doing, um, as opposed to just feeding around and building that confidence up, is actually putting him in a sit and a stay, which he's very familiar with. And when he's got that stay and I have a reward in my hand and then asking him to wait while I put the harness over his head and then reward, that seems to be really effective now that we've built up his confidence. So just adding that stay so it's not having to go back a few steps and feed around the harness each time. So you will see this progress throughout the video, keep watching. Good boy. Good. Yeah, good boy. Good. That's better. 